We've now wired up the device and applied power. The next step is now to assign the initial IP address to the module. Out of the box, most Phoenix contact network devices come with a default boot P assignment for IP addresses. Boot P is like DHCP, where the module will reach out to a boot P or DHCP server for an IP address. There is no routable IP address assigned to the module at default. There are multiple ways to assign uh, the module an IP address, one of which is by a fallback IP address that the radio will fall back to if it does not receive an IP address from a boot P or DHCP server. That IP address is 169.254.2.1. Um, this is a non-routable, invalid IP address that allows devices to talk to each other at a, at a very high level. So what you would do to, do to connect to the module is on your computer, um, you will set your laptop to receive an IP address via DHCP. When you do this and it's not connected to a server, it will receive a, a 169.254 IP address as well. Once you do that, you can open a web browser and navigate to 169.254.2.1 and you will be able to pull up the web manager of the radio. Additionally, the radio will continue to send out boot P addresses. Phoenix Contact offers a boot P server called IP Assign, which is downloadable off the Phoenix Contact website. Uh, what IP Assign does is it listens for boot P requests um, and then it will tell you what the MAC address of the device sending the boot P request is, um, how many times it's requested an IP in the last time that uh, the device requested it. So I know that my device is uh, A8741D897057. If I highlight it and hit next, I can now assign it an IP address. Uh, and uh, right now, my, uh, I'm going to assign it a 192.168.0.254. I'm going to give it a subnet of 255.255.255.0. And now I wait for the device to assign it an IP address. I get a success. And now I have to make sure my laptop is in the same network. So I come back to my network settings. I open up my properties. And I give it an IP address in the same network. And now if I come back to my web browser and navigate to 192.168.0.254, which I provided in boot P and my IP assign, I now can get to the web manager of the radio. Once the device gets an IP address via boot P, it is only temporary until it is saved in the web manager. If you power cycle the module before saving that setting, the module will go back into its default mode of boot P requests. <laughs>